So in this video, we are going to talk about the Lucknow Pact. We will start with the introduction, then we will move on to the features, and at last we will see the significance of this Lucknow Pact. So getting started with the introduction of Lucknow Pact. This pact was signed between Indian National Congress and Muslim League in 1916 in the Lucknow session of INC. This Lucknow session was a joint session called by both the parties, and this session was presided by Ambika Chadan Mazumdar. Ambika Chadan Mazumdar was a leader of Congress from Bengal. Now coming to the features of this Lucknow Pact. First of all, Congress agreed over the concept of separate electorate in this pact. Basically, since when the concept of separate electorate came into 1909. after that congress was continuously opposing this concept and in this lucknow pact muslim league succeeded in persuading congress over the continuation of separate electorate as well as both the parties also demanded provincial autonomy and they also asked the british government for the abolition of indian council because they did not want any kind of political intervention in their provincial matters they also said that matters like defense and foreign affairs way to be excluded from the control of imperial legislature and these departments must be added under the control of provincial politics they demanded that four fifth of the members of provincial legislatures and this provincial legislature can be compared to the vidhan sabha modern electorate system so they said that 80% of the members of provincial legislatures should be elected and rest to be nominated as per the discrete voice of india and this election must be direct via adult franchise they also demanded that the imperial legislative council was to include 150 people and half of the members of viceroy's executive council this viceroy's executive council can be compared to the modern days prime minister's cabinet they said that half of the members must be indians in order to represent the interest of indians they also demanded the separation of judiciary from executive because they believed that only after being free from the control of executive a judiciary can work impartially they also demanded for the communal veto in provincial legislature in order to secure the communal and religious interest that's all in the features of lucknow pact now we will focus on the significance of the lucknow pact so as a result the lucknow pact brought the two communities of india of the society together which was the hindu and the muslim and consequently it also united the differences between congress and the muslim league it united the moderates and the extremists of congress once again earlier the moderates and the extremists were two part of the congress but after the lucknow pact it united both the sections of the congress into one seeing this unity between the league and congress and the extremists and moderates the british government knew that they now cannot repress any nationalist movement by violent means and that the existing system needs to be changed thus the british government passed august declaration in 1917 to introduce the policy of gradual development of self governing institution in india so that was it in the lucknow pact video thank you so much.